Wait a second. I just want to say right there real quick. It should be called maze. No, no, no. I'm just saying <laughs> Ben messes up and he's like, cut these six seconds out. And then when I mess up, he's like, try to embellish this a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and I do, and I do. Hello and welcome to Mastering Mediocrity Imbibes Edition. I am Jeff. I'm Ben. I'm Mark. And we are here today to sample what we hope to be delicious drinks. Delicious. Hopefully. Hope. Always hope. Yeah, I mean, we're definitely aiming for delicious. We're not here, like, bringing liquid shit diarrhea yeah. drinks. Although, at this point, I'm pretty sure all the blue raspberry drinks we're going to get are bad. So, I feel like now we're just intentionally getting bad drinks just to compare. Well, that's just for the hope that there's one out there. Like, Right. There is you know. one. I just forget which one it is. I do, too. It's decent. It's still blue. You gotta find one that blows you away. The holy grail of blue raz. I know. It probably is like actually Mm. blue raspberry juice, and it's probably still mediocre. Yeah, it's probably still on the watery side. (laughs) Somehow, some way, if it's not from concentrate or like with sugar added. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, So, anyways, today, Mark, you are the bringer of non-alcohols. I am. Ben is the bringer of alcohols. That's right. And I think we could get started with you, Ben, because that's what we normally do when somebody has alcohol. All right. I don't know if you guys have heard, but Elon Musk just purchased Twitter. That (laughs) that deal just went through. Yeah. And so I thought, in honor of that, I want to get something that will, you know, kind of, that we can use to kind of celebrate this momentous occasion. You know, you're going to get to see my eyes for this because I'm so, still not yeah, getting how this, this is was not what I was expecting. Like, <laughs> and so uh, I was like, man, I'm trying to find something that's like got a bird on it, you know, something with its wings spread, you know. OK, so just draw then, back to the icon. Right, right, right. Yeah. You know, and the only thing I could find was like that freedom whiskey that we'd already tried because it got the uh, yeah. eagle on it. And so well, that like, doesn't oh, really like, count. It's like yeah. a, it's yeah. like a but you know, cardinal it's, or but something. You know, yeah, something no, smaller. It's an eagle. It's, it's an free, eagle. Like a big. It's, it's like for a Twitter. Bald no, eagle. I'm saying for Twitter. Well, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. For Twitter, you know. it's like a Tweety bird. But that's right. what I'm saying. Yeah. I don't yeah. think there's gonna be a whiskey that's like, hey, try out this fucking cardinal. Dude, we just had something that was like about a tree, and it was like an old man with his with brains growing out of it. There's, it's within the realm of possibility. That there is a, a twi- Tweety Bird. A Twitter whiskey? Yeah, something. It would or, be terrible. Just, the tree makes way more sense because of the charred oak barrels. Uh, but they weren't made from charred redwood barrels. Whatever. Yeah, we got Cal- past that. California whiskey. <laughs> Either though, way. So, like, they have the redwoods. Yeah. Yeah, okay, let's, I'm excited. Let's see right. what Either is Either way. It? Either way. I wasn't able to find anything with a bird. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's such a, Turns that's such out a Elon makes whiskey. Yeah. I got his whiskey. What about like Eagle Rare? I don't know. I just picked some that's fucking an eagle. I just bought, but it's still a bird. I mean, we were trying to build some type of bridge. I just went to some liquor store on the west side, man. I don't fucking know. <laughs> you know? Okay. And uh, so and so you know, in honor of uh, of this chapter <laughs> of shenanigans closing at Twitter, we're just doing the same thing we always do. Uh, yeah. yeah. I I. <laughs> Got this bottle of whiskey to celebrate this new era of tomfoolery. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, I, that nice. is a nice looking bottle. So, that is a nice looking bottle. So, and I love the uh, the name. Uh, yeah, Tom I thought the Fullery. name was really cool. I That's thought the awesome. label looked pretty cool. Getting I'm down. Out. I'm down. Yeah. And uh, I was like, well, I can kind of say tomfoolery. It's it's Tom's foolery, but I can say tomfoolery. Yeah. To build yeah. the bridge. Right, right. That's right. fair. Right. But yeah, uh, you know, it's the little victories in... in uh, are you going to get on Twitter now? Uh, I, I am on Twitter. Oh, are you? Uh, but I'm, uh, I just observe. I'm not like... A poster? Uh, no. Yeah. You're not out there getting into yeah. conversations right. with anybody. Right. I'm yeah. like one of the 85% of people who or you know, of the real people on Twitter that just are... Wanting to witness the tomfoolery. Right, right. You want to witness the tomfoolery. So... <laughs> It's fun to watch a burning ship. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So yeah, this is Tom's Foolery Bourbon, Ohio Straight Bourbon Whiskey, Ohio. ninety proof. Ooh, Even nice. better. Yeah. Pot distilled, no fooling. Do you guys want? Do you want? You guys want to read this? No, go for it. All right. <clears throat> Get your sexy horse on. Long ago, Americans made their bourbon from locally grown corn, rye, and barley in small copper pot stills. Today. We make bourbon whiskey the same way, by hand, in the snow belt of northern Ohio. This classic sour mash whiskey is fermented 
in open wood casks, slowly distilled two times, hmm. and aged in new white oak barrels at Tom's Foolery Farm and Distillery. And that's uh, in Chagrin Falls, Ohio. Oh, okay. Established 2008. I'm going to have to look it up, but I'm pretty sure bourbon has to be distilled twice anyways. I will put that up here, but I'm fairly certain that is a fact. Well, that's a, is that a bourbon? Or is it a sour mash? It's a sour mash bourbon whiskey. Yeah, which I mean, bourbon is bourbon. a sour mash. Okay. Right, a straight of bourbon whiskey. Yeah, it looks disgusting. Right. It looks like a gangrenous wound. What? The mash. Oh. It's disgusting. Uh, oh yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I mean it's literally what? decomposing yeah, corn. Yeah, right. <laughs> Another fake cork, rubber, but it's a cork. It's yeah, better than a twist off. Yeah, better than twist. It off. has a really Beautiful nice voice. color. I thought so it too. It does. I thought so too. And uh, honestly, I was like looking at it, and all like five that it w- were around were the same color, and you're just like, is there a difference? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm this sorry. is a straight. It's not blended, right? <laughs> Uh, I don't think so. No, no it's a, a single, straight. Yeah. 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 yeah, I mean, I think it's a straight. You can get straight blended, but this is just a straight. All right, cool. Yep. What does that mean? How do you do a straight blended? It's just one kind of whiskey. The Redwood was a straight blend. blended. Yeah. Yeah, there was multiples. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. <laughs> oh. it, wow. It is a strong, Whoa. almost citrusy. <laughs> yeah, it's fuck. it's powerful. Jeez. Oh, I need a that's got, I need a chaser, Jeff. Where's that vitamin water? I don't think I need a chaser. Uh, I think that was fantastic. You're not. It's something. It's something. What did you? It's do? not harsh, but wow. Yeah, that has I the mean, most flavor of any whiskey I've ever drank. I think most flavor or mo- most power up front. Most power oh, of flavor, I think, is the. Right it was. I mean, it was very intense. It's very intense, but it's not harsh. Like it, it wasn't a burn. It was like a maybe. It's, I, maybe it's, it's like an actual like taste, yeah. not a uh, not a alcohol reaction. I'm with you on that. It is an explosion of flavor up front. It doesn't last terribly long. No, it cools off real fast. That's a little bit of a citrusy, fruity note to it, and then like that's that's really it though. I didn't like flavor. Power, yeah, but not maybe, maybe flavor character. Like there's right. not a lot going on. No, but it's it's just powerful. Yeah, it's a very powerful. Ben, what, what the doing? fuck are you wearing, buddy? Dude, we've got a real, you know, southern band coming up after this, and I'm just ready. I'm ready to get on the Bronco and do my thing, son. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't fuck with this. This is this is peak country, Jeff. This is as country as I will ever get. You're the most country I've ever seen anyone around me. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, that's the whole point. I'm, I'm meant to be a superlative you're, right now. I'm like, you're meant to blend in with yeah. the country folk, is what you're trying to say. Dude, I mean, my aunt and uncle run a farm. They're not terribly more country than you would be seen on a daily basis. You know, like they're wearing Carhartt stuff. Flannels. That's it. They're, they're, they don't have cowboy yeah. hats. This is Ohio. This is more of a Western rig you got going on there dude people wear cowboy hats to go to bars they don't wear cowboy hats on the rig in ohio yeah it's like it's a you wear a cowboy hat as like a a parody a statement yes it's not because you're a cowboy herding cattle in ohio what are you trying what are you trying to say right now we're not that country here in ohio is what i'm trying to say no what's your statement with your hat right now that we're reviewing a country (laughs) album next and what's funny is this is actually an Australian outback. Yeah, hat. I say it looks more it's not like a country a, hat. <laughs> like an out, yeah, like a yeah. camping hat. But I mean, I looked, camping I looked at hat. some <laughs> a camping hat. There's, there, are camping some, hat. there are some similar cowboy hats to this, but I mean, it by definition is like an Australian outback hat. Well, you know where that would be good <gasps> if you where? were to go out all day in the summer somewhere yeah. on the beach. Yeah. I on bought it like a fishing, like a like a hat like that, but it's a softer one. It's like a fishing hat. I'll wear yeah, my I Panama wear Jack hat. Some... I have a Panama Jack hat too because I'm just been into hats lately. What's a Panama Jack hat. You know, like one of those uh, strips of canvas. Uh, it's, it's got just like a flatter brim, and then it's got typically it has a band around it it's too, a, a wider hat. blue. No, it's not. It's like a it's like a Florida hat. We'll put it right there. Yeah. Oh, I Panama get it. Jack hat. You I know what I'm it. saying? Oh, okay. It's like a touristy. Now that I see like it, a I get floppy. It. Not floppy. No, it's it's a straight brim. 
Okay, solid straight brim. All the way around or just All the way around. It's like just like a perfect, you know, solid oval, right? Not, like a fedora? Not, it has a fedora quality to it, okay. sure. You would wear a fedora. Yeah. Mark, let's get these energy drinks out or whatever it is you got. Yeah, let's keep up the energy. All right, all right, all right, all right. With energy drinks. <gasps> Power energy I went drinks. skateboarding today. And to bring to this <laughs> manly show, we have two Alanis. Ooh. From what I've been told, are geared towards the younger ladies. Ladies, okay. So we, I expect them to taste very good. We've done the Alani's before. We yeah. checked though. If if we I have not done these cosmic two. stardust, oh, that sounds done, cool. Definitely not done that one. Or this Hawaiian one, shaved ice. I think I've had that personally, Oof. but I don't believe it was on the show. All right, boys. This is well, good. ten I, calories, so you know, an easy go. It's got, I think, two hundred milligrams of caffeine, no sugar, uh, lots of other things. Got any Let's good see, marketing on ginseng. it? Ginseng. I mean, it's like meant cool to be. It. You know, it's attractive. It's a light pastel-y colors. You know, I guess you could call it. A, it's a vegan, so they have that and gluten free, which I don't know why you'd put bread in one of these. <laughs> so, but to your I point, it up, there's a fucking <laughs> slice there's a French bread, bread in there. <laughs> there's a slice the of loaf of bread. French yeah. bread comes it's out, a day or it's bread just from like Jimmy John's, <laughs> yeah, like soggy Jimmy John's bread inside of it. You're just like getting floaters. Like, yeah. and, oh, <laughs> there's a whole turkey tom inside. As soon as you crack it up, it like pops open like one of them surprise silly things. Right? Yeah, like, <laughs> surprise uh, gags. You just have to eat this energy bread. <laughs> <laughs> energy Sorry bread shit. dude i wouldn't be surprised in five years if there's energy and, bread just like everything sure. seems to have caffeine in it nowadays like body armor put caffeine into their stuff and for me that was like the last straw like everybody has to have something to have about real body armor yeah i was like no no the body armor like the drinks drink. come on oh, we're wow. on in vibes you got to know about drinks you get everything that i say has to be drink related it okay. doesn't but in any case, I'll let you choose point. which one you want to do yeah, first. Crack that open. Oh yeah, Cosmic Stardust. I'm expecting since it is purple to be like a, like the purple popsicle grape yeah. flavor. I'm hoping that's what I'm hoping for. Anyways, I don't know why that would ever be called Cosmic Stardust, but they have some levity since they're making the drink, and um, it's I had no say. In the, I had no say in the process. I mean, what drink doesn't sound good? If oh, it smells Cosmic. I can smell it from here. <sighs> oh, I can't smell it. Nice color oh to it. God, it smells good. Yeah, oh nice God, color. COVID. <laughs> Wait, why am I laughing Ooh. at yours? It smells good. Like I just, I don't want to smell it again because I want to get Ooh, that. Yeah. So it's all, all right. Here we go. Dang, that's nice. Dude, Dude it, it is smells nice. great. It smells like uh, something like from my cheap youth. Body lotion. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Like the stuff my like girlfriend f- would wear in high school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> More or less. <laughs> Let's drink. There's something in my drink. Maybe there's some amount of real juice. Some of your uh, wax in there. Yep. Sure did. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lanta. That's good. I don't know how you do that with 10 calories. Woo! That is so fun. And there's an, like a tingly aftertaste that says, I've got more for you. I've, I have more to offer. It doesn't even really taste artificial. It tastes like a tampon. <sighs> what the fuck? <laughs> What are you talking about? You didn't need tampons in high school? Why were you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was really good. Dude, I'm I gonna, would get that. Oh Out of all God, the energy drinks oh we've God. gotten, I would definitely get that. Dude, I have not given anything a I 10. I would almost this choose is... that over a Red Bull. Oh, my God. And that's so Red close. Bulls are my go-tos. It's not a 10, but it's so close. 9.5. Nine five. It's yeah. so hard to give a 10 here. 9.75. It is, yeah, yeah. It is so good. Like, nice. the limit approach is 10. For sure. Wow. Oh, yeah. That was good. <laughs> I just, now I feel like we're going to be disappointed. Because I've had this before. Hawaiian and shaved ice. Just, oh, man. I hope this one lives up. It it's like, like the same color. It is a similar color, it smells isn't like it? It's like grapefruit. This would be a very different smell. It smells like grapefruit for a, a, a Hawaiian shaved ice. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. It tastes like shit. There's mm. like a little bit of coconut. Yeah, and a little definitely bit of has grapefruit a coconut type. in there. There's a dry flavor to it. I think I it's pretty good though. No, I think it's pretty good too. It's like the worst combination of grapefruit and coconut. See, I like coconut. 
I think the coconut is subdued enough. Yeah, I like that coconut flavor and not into it. Like the sparkling ice has a coconut one and it's pretty good. It has about this much coconut in it. It's yeah. not overwhelming. Sorry, boys. There's still a little bit left, but had to make I would it. get either one of those. That one's definitely better. Yeah. But oh, I'd yeah. probably give that one an eight. I give it a six and a half. Hawaiian shaved ice. I'm at like a seven point seven five. It's good. I just don't think it approaches the eight level. But I'm very happy to be consuming it. I've not gotten it again because I am not wild about coconut. Like, if I can avoid coconut, I do. So even while I agree that it is a good drink and I rate it high, something about the coconut I just avoid. Yeah. Coconut's one of those things where, like, you either love it or you hate it. It's and, not, you know, like, everybody likes orange. I tolerate it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you're so right. It's, it's like, like, if you don't like the orange flavor, if you don't like a grape flavor, I can see actually not being wild about grape, but, yeah. Like, there's a core flavor. is like, if you don't like... It's just a, something about coconut. That yeah. It's like, yeah, people, like, really love it or they just really don't. It's like all. cilantro. You know, some people really yeah. enjoy it, and to me, it, it tastes, like tastes like soap. soap. Yeah, and it's, really? there's a genetic disposition to it tasting like soap. Hmm. Yeah. It's wild. I, I've grown to enjoy, to a small degree, coconut. Like, an almond joy is fine. So what do you do a with, really like, a good, Chipotle? Not get coconut. I like, don't do get you, pico do de gallo. You, you don't get, uh, like, rice? I still get rice. I mean, that's it's so limey and salty that yeah, it kind of blows past the cilantro. But I don't get pico de gallo anymore. I get too corn salsa cilantro. and verde. Yeah, because mm. I think it has too much cilantro. And I, I'm not a huge fan of tomatoes. It's just, it's whatever for me. It's like a 5 out of 10. But man, good choices tonight. Like, I'm a big fan of the liquor. I'm a big fan of the energy drinks. It was a good night, boys. Yeah. This was, I think, 39 or 45, the alcohol. So really okay. in that mid-range pricing. Yeah. It's a I mean, handsome bottle. It, to me, it's, color. it's a great, it's a great bottle. Yeah, it's really. Cool. That's where I would have guessed it would have been. Is right around in there. There is something to be said about like simplicity. It's just, yeah. it's white. It almost it's looks white. hand painted on. You know, obviously it's not, but it, you know, it's got that kind of vibe to it. Yeah, it's not like a plastic. Right, it's not wrapped in wrapped anything. in a thing. It's simple, and effective. Yeah. Just and like it's you. from Ohio. You think Have I'm you guys effective? ever seen Chagrin Falls? <laughs> it's pretty nice. And Mostly simple. Where is Have it? Have you ever seen Chagrin Falls? No. Yeah. It's pretty nice. It's a nice place? Mm -hmm. Up north? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's like a out. state park. There's like actually like waterfalls. Oh. oh. <laughs> Might have to check it out before Putin nukes us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, boys. On that fucking happy note, let's take this shot. Get the fuck out of here. Let's do it, boys. Cheers, Cheers mate. Cheers, mate. If you liked what you saw here today, please like, subscribe, hit the bell, watch the show. Love you guys. Call your parents. <laughs>